Yeah, because we're only at 40. So there's just that one thing that we did that, that gave us stress. Okay, we haven't even unpaused the game yet. Or I did, actually, by accident. We still have a lot more to do before we get started. Um, let's take a look at our realm. I almost never look at this domain screen. Vassals, though. Plus 24, plus 33, plus 6, minus 7. Minus 47. Our, our Prince Bishop doesn't like us at all. Oh, there's another one. Okay, we our vassals don't really like us that much. Let's take a look at this guy. Why doesn't he like us? Oh, he wants a seat on the council. That's really it. And the cultural acceptance. This guy doesn't like us because culture acceptance. Is that a problem all around? No. Minus 11. 50% less as you can speak high German. Okay. Over time, acceptance will return to the cultural acceptance baseline if exceeded. Don't really know what to do about that. Uh, but maybe we can put this guy on the, uh, the council. We're going to need to have more children. How old's our wife? 33 or 32. Should we get, get a new wife? Queen Engelberg. Berga. She has really good diplomacy. Average learning, terrible intrigue, poor stewardship, and poor marshal. She's gregarious, diligent, humble, charismatic negotiator, and a diplomat. What's the... Uh, at what age do, uh, do they become infertile? I <laughs> said... I'm going to ask a lot of really insensitive questions. It's just the way this game is, okay? It's... it's... I know! It's the game, alright? It's not me. Because... We're going to... we need more kids. We only have one daughter, and if our daughter gets murdered, then... We're in trouble. We have no one else to inherit. At least you're not kicking guys into holes after saving them. Thought it was 50? Okay. Floss, good luck with the new campaign. Have to scoot. Choir practice. Have fun. Have fun, indeed. Is it 50? All right, we'll give it, we'll give it a few more years. Keep an eye on Matilda when she appears as head of Tuscany. Keep her happy or she won't be nice. Okay. Darkstar says she's pro lol, she's probably good for a few more after 40 your chances go down. Okay. Okay, so I wish I could set like alarms. You know what I mean? Like uh if wife equals a greater than equals 40, divorce wife and find new wife. And then it just pops up with a screen that says Which new wife would you like? Female characters, however, start losing fertility at the age of 26. Quickly lose their base fertility rate. At age of 46, they'll completely lose the ability to become pregnant. Is this, this is in, this is, <laughs> is this from like a wiki for this game? We'll give it, we'll give it to 40. It's like the gamer posted for CK3. <laughs> yeah, that's the game. So we're going to have to deal with that. Uh, military. We've got three men at arms regiments. We've got two armored footmen, though. And one uh, onagers. Onagers? We have nine knights. 
Uh, some pretty, pretty questionable knights here. So... Let's recruit this guy. 35 gold, though. I think we're just gonna have to make do. You think marry a kid to France to avoid getting in a fight with your family? Yeah. That's not a bad idea. But she's our heir right now, so I'd want it I want it to be matrilineal. Gift artifact, cool. I'm gonna educate my child. Hey, Sudabaz. I I don't. Oh, I was looking at. The, I forgot to look at my culture. I I honestly I, I just started playing uh, an hour ago, so I you know as much as me <laughs> about the culture aspects. Traditions and pillars. So we are of the French culture. Diverge from Frankish in the year 862. So you can like reform your culture, similarly to like like you could religion. I believe. Portly. All French characters, monthly prestige plus 10%. Title creation cost minus 15% gold. House opinion plus 5. Court grandeur bonus plus 5. The ceremony of court life is so integral to this culture that it forms a core part of people's social behavior. A place for everyone and everyone in their place. <laughs> Frankish heritage plus 20 culture acceptance baseline with culture sharing this heritage. Martial men only. Only men can be commanders and knights. Duil vulgar language. Your native language. Plus 10 cultural acceptance baseline with culture sharing this language. What is this plus? Adopt the court language. Cannot adopt a new court language until 1st of January 872. And we're in 867. This thing 698 prestige. French aesthetic. Naming practices French, architecture continental European, fashion continental European, coat of arms French, military equipment continental European. Chanson de Guest. This tradition allows culture to unlock the valet innovation in the late medieval era. The poet trait has additional bonuses, is more common. The martial education trait are more valued. The bumbling squire, confident knight, formidable ban uh, banneret, and famous champion traits are more valued. The blade master traits have additional bonuses. The craven and content traits are looked down upon. Knights are slightly more prone to injury during battles. May challenge rivals to single combat, inflicting stress if you win. <laughs> All French characters, injury resistance, prowess plus five, number of knights plus two. This culture values the heroic deeds of long gone ancestors. The romantic retelling of the lives of knights such as Guillaume or Roland will inspire generations to come. Uh, so this is another aspect of the French culture. Rulers with poor hereditary hierarchy, rulers with poor education traits such as indulgent wastrel or naive appeaser are distrusted. And all French characters, tyranny loss, minus 75%. Long reign bonus, plus 25%. Castle holding construction costs, minus 15. Feudal vassal tax contribution, plus 10%. So building castles is cheaper. And chivalry. Can spar against own knights in single combat to gain modifiers. Successfully re executing a romance scheme gives renown. Okay. Rulers are more likely to start the romance scheme. The poet and gallant traits are significant romance scheme bonuses. All French characters, uh, tyranny gain plus 50%. Heavy cavalry damage plus 10%. Heavy cavalry toughness plus 10%. Okay, so we want heavy cavalry. And we could diverge cultures. Uh, but it says culture is less than 100 years old. The culture head is King Charles II the Bald, so we're not the head of the culture either in this. Ooh, here we go. So this is new. 
right? So it's not that you uh, reform the culture, you diverge. So I could change some of those, the ethos and the traditions. <laughs> Feudalism, it's your count that votes. Uh, martial custom, equal women only. You do not have the female only law. Okay. You could change the aesthetics. That's cool. And you could change the color. And we could we could change the name. I could call it the Bleco culture. <laughs> uh, man, my lips are so dry today. Okay, we're an hour into the, the stream, and I haven't unpaused yet. Military, we looked at that. Council! Our queen is on assist ruler. Uh, Engelbert is our archbishop. He's okay with us, plus 16. Uh, and his stat is 10. Currently, he's on religious relations. Gives us more piety. Theocratic ruler opinion plus five. Okay. Uh, the Duke, this is our boy. Duke Unrook is our chancellor. But he's only four. He's a terrible chancellor. He's a better steward. What's he doing? Foreign affairs. Oh, bestow royal favor. This is something that I wasn't able to do with Hungary. Prestige plus 0 0.1 per month. Counselor's diplomacy skill plus 0.1. Vassal prestige increased by 0.5 per month. And vassal opinion increased. Integrate title. Target title becomes Deyore, part of your primary title. That's how you pronounce it, right? Deyore? Or it's Deyore. Okay. Domestic affairs and foreign affairs. Those were, those were uh, in the, the previous thing. Duke Conrad of Upper Burgundy is our, vas is our uh, steward. Mm. These are all, all powerful vassals, so. Oh no, he's just a vassal. He's not a powerful vassal. So let me take a look here. This guy. This guy wants uh, wants to be on the council. He only has one title. Nah, nah, nah. And he, his stats are shit, so he's not gonna be he's not gonna be on the council. I wish I had a better chancellor, though. Oh, why are these highlighted? Oh, they're the so the the highest stats are highlighted now. That's new. So I I want to have Count Bosson as our uh, chancellor. Do I fire uh, Unriok? He expects to remain on the council. Shit. I think I just I think I just deal with them. Hey Richie! All hail Richie! I don't want to piss people off too early on. This guy, wow. Only 17 year old. 
our marshal at, at 17. Marshal skills. Just execute him. <laughs> Ren, you're brutal. Now, this guy's 18. But that guy's just going to get stronger and stronger, so that's fine. We'll, we'll keep him there. And then this guy's got 16 intrigue, so that's good. And he's a vassal. All right. Manage Royal Guards. Night effectiveness increased by 1% per month up to 34%. Right now, they're organizing armies. Garrison size, levy size, and reinforcement rate plus 18%. Base plus 1%. Counselor's martial skill plus 70%. That's fine. Collecting taxes. We can promote cultural acceptance. Cultural acceptance gain plus uh, 0.45 per year. Steward Duke Conrad plus 0 0.07. Independent ruler plus 0 0.37. Other factors may apply to total acceptance gain. I know, Ren, but he's a powerful vassal. And he's kind of cool. So I could remove him and he's going to hate me. I don't really have anywhere else to put him. I could do it, though. Does this guy want? Yeah. The steward could be better, too. But he's my powerful vassal. So they're all going to have negative opinions of me if I remove them. I think I'll just live with it because we're going to have to fight people soon, right? We need, we need our vassals on our side. But uh, something to consider. So our uh, we have empty court positions. We don't have a court physician. Monthly court grandeur change plus 10% to plus 25% based on aptitude. Oh, we can make the queen. You make the the queen the court physician. Your steward needs some better pants. His chin beard does does not scream cool. What do you know of chin beards, Ren? Aptitude poor, but you know, she's got twelve learning. Power. Okay, it says, if you choose to revoke this position later, it will cost you 200 prestige. And the queen will lose 30 opinion of you for 10 years. That's okay. The antiquarian. Effects vary based on aptitude. Artifact decay reduction, minus 7 to 35%. Enables you to reforge or repair artifacts. Unlocks the commission artifact decision. Protects artifacts during sieges and raids. Saxon's saying, keep powerful vassals and educate their kids so they will be great at X skill and powerful vassal is happy. Win-win. That's true, Saxman. The antiquarian is responsible for the upkeep, care, and procurement of artifacts. What skill is important for this? Is it uh, learning? Artifact decay reduction, minus 11%. For Toldo, I know it is a great name. Okay. Uh, court tutor. Scheme power plus 4 to plus 20 based on aptitude. Proves education outcomes. Unlocks the have child study language interaction. Tadio! Food taster. Court grandeur bonus plus one to plus point to plus three. Enemy hostile scheme success chance plus zero percent to minus ten percent based on aptitude. Chance of stopping poison murder schemes. You will lose weight more quickly. I got nobody. Master of the horse. 
effects are uh, night effectiveness plus one percent to plus eight percent ah i got people for this court grandeur change plus five percent to plus twenty percent Lots of numbers in this game. I don't know if you guys have noticed yet or not. Excellent. This guy is a powerful vassal. I think I'm going to appoint him. It'll make him happier. Plus 10 opinion. Night effectiveness plus 8. Monthly court grandeur change plus 20%. Time to check out Medieval LinkedIn. That's what this game is. Uh, it's it's part LinkedIn, part I don't know breeding simulator. Okay, master of the horse, master of the hunt. This is all costing quite a bit of money, though, isn't it? Holy shit, there's a lot of stuff. I guess you don't really... I guess you don't... You don't assign all of these, do you? Holy crap. Oh, we don't have anyone that meets the, some of these requirements. A personal champion. Uh, they're poor. Bertaldo is a, a nice pick, but they're poor to, to bad. Poor to terrible. The masturbator. There's a uh, there's a, an MMA fighter named Ryan Bader, and he's he's like he he's always wanted to change his nickname to Master, so his name would be Ryan Masturbator. But I guess he's instead he's Ryan Darth Bader. That's his nickname, which is which is pretty good too. Uh, Spoleto Duke Happy, and you can avoid anger in the South that oh Spoleto he's not married yet yeah I should sway him he is our uh, marshal let's sway this guy 72% chance to succeed Clickbaiter. <laughs> That's good advice, Saxman. Court musician. I think I'm just going to look at these and see if I have anyone that's like really good. An, a royal architect. Building construction time. Poor. High almoner. Average. Seneschal. Is it Seneschal or Seneschal? Cupbearer. Court Jester! Don't you want a terrible Court Jester? A poet. No creatures meet the court position requirements. Court Musician. Bodyguard. Bodyguard. Personal champion. Executioner! Cool. Okay. That's that's all new stuff. Yeah, I've got Tebow. Tebow. Intrigue. We're not really doing anything with intrigue right now. Factions, there's no factions. Now, this is important. Major decisions. This is something that will guide us going forward. What do we want to do? What are, which of these major decisions do we want to try to try to go for? We got create cadet branch. I need 350 prestige to do it. Otherwise, we're good to go. Holy order. Pope Nicholas has at least zero opinion of us. Okay. That's something that would be nice. 
So you get free soldiers if we're fighting against heathens. Consecrate bloodline. We need to control a Catholic holy site. And we need to be a religious icon. That's not going to happen for a while. But let's take a look at the holy sites. Ah, okay. So there's one in Cologne. There's one in Rome. Don't create cadet branches. You're in line for France. Right, because I, if I, if I um, get France, I'll probably have one, right? And there's one in Santiago and Canterbury. So if I do control Holy Site, it's probably going to be this one, Cologne. Control growth plus 5%, cultural fascination progress plus 5%. Take a look, uh, Blacko. There's a, uh, there's a court architect. Did I... There it is. Royal Architect. Maybe, if you're good enough. Okay, uh, Consecrate Bloodline, that's going to be tough. Dynasty of Many Crowns. I wasn't even able to do this with the uh, with Hungary. Found University. This is different. Learned scholars have been congregating within my realm as of late. Many are sought after as teachers, but to pool and pass on their knowledge. They need somewhere to gather. You gain the nickname The Scholar. All county capitals without a university gains a special building slot for university. We need to be exalted among men. That's going to take some time. And we need at least development in Boulogne. Greater than equal to 40. Or development level in Padua. So we need uh, one of our counties to be 40 or above, basically. And what is uh, currently, what is the development level? Oh, it's not one of ours, actually. So this is development seven. Bologna? Bologna! Bologna! <laughs> Bologna! <laughs> Bologna. Bologna. Ba Bologna. <laughs> so that's going to take some time if we're going to develop a university. Padua is five. Why does it have to be these specific ones? What's special about these places? An eight. So I guess Siena is the most likely place. Oh, Baloney. Oh, okay. Sorry. It's Baloney. Like, <laughs> I was like, no. Found a new empire. I will create an empire to outshine all others and to outlast history itself. You create a new empire. Every kingdom title you hold or completely control becomes de jure, de jure kingdoms of your new empire. We have to be exalted among men. Realm size is 120 or more. Three or more kingdoms. That's going to take some time. Restore the Holy Roman Empire. This is probably what we'll try to shoot for. Mortadella. Mortadella is a form of baloney. We call it baloney here. <laughs> it's obviously totally wrong. 
Uh, okay. Kingdom of East Francia is destroyed. Any completely controlled kingdoms outside of Italia will become Deire, Deire of the Holy Roman Empire. 750 prestige. We get a lot. Level of Fame, Illustrious. East Francia. We have need three kingdom titles. Realm size 140. We need the Pope to like us or have a strong hook on the Pope or a weak hook on the Pope. Okay. That's what we're going to do. Holy Roman Empire. Which is... Oh, interesting. So it doesn't exist. We would establish it. Or it's not a de jure, de jure empire. So we're going to go for East Francia, basically. They have 2,481 troops. I have a claim on the Kingdom of East Francia. 200 prestige and I could declare war. I just need allies. Britannia has a silent Gnissa. Brugnitania. Britannia. Baloney. Yeah, that's that's how we pronounce it here, but it's clearly wrong. Uh, okay. Is there any minor decisions? Commission artifact. Hire a local artisan to create an artifact for you. A local artisan with a sponsored project arrives in your court. Let's do it. A hundred gold. Uh, maybe not. Maybe maybe we don't. Find high German linguists. Powerful vassal expects the council position. Not right now. I think we're ready to start playing. East Francia. I think that I try to uh, get... So I'm actually currently at war. Attacking Amir Saden of the Sadenid Emirate in the reconquest of Bari. Oh. Well, I guess this is the first thing we're going to do. But I actually want to find a match for my daughter, too. Also, can I, like... Can I request have children? <laughs> it's it's uh, seduce, right? I already have a personal scheme. Okay. Hopefully we'll just have some more kids. Parma is a city in Ohio. <laughs> you guys are going to kill Blacko. You're literally going to kill him. Maybe we shouldn't have taken Italy. Okay, daughter. Find spouse. Uh, I think we're going to want alliance power. It's going to be matrilineal, though. The I, 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 We could get an alliance with the Byzantine Empire. That seems good. Or West Francia. Our cousin. <laughs> or Bavaria. No, but because he has a... He, this guy, Carl, Carl has a fucking claim. He's going to inherit... He's going to inherit... Okay, hear me out. He 
could inherit East Francia, this guy. And if we marry his grandson, who is his primary heir, matrilineally, we could take East Francia without even fighting. Right? Wait. No, it might be... I don't know how that would work. I guess their kid would inherit it. Right? Which I would eventually play as. I think that's probably the best match. Well, I would want France... I would take France and Italy. The whole point is to create the Holy Roman Empire. Like, that's what we're going for. I think this is probably the best match. It's a matrilineal marriage. They'll accept. We'll have 2,143 troops that we can use. We need East Francia for the Holy Roman Empire. See, it says, uh, have title East Francia. I think, I think we do this. They are related though. <laughs> yeah. Will the inbreeding begin this early? I think it's the best match. They'll be born into House Carling. Okay. But yeah, and eventually I'll take them over, right? Uh, I don't I don't know how this is gonna turn out, but I think we're doing it. I think we're doing it. Okay, and I guess we're just fucking going to... Oh, uh, the other thing I wanted to do was... Uh, I think I want to get rid of the armored footmen. And create a new men-at-arms regiment of... Something else. Maybe bowmen? We don't have heavy horsemen. I think I'm going to destroy this regiment. And I'm going to make a, make a bowman regiment. Yeah, archers. Archers! I'll increase size to two. So we have 200. I'm unpausing, guys. I'm unpausing. This is scary. It's been an hour and 41 minutes and I haven't unpaused the game. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait. I can create 10 titles? Holy shit. I can usurp the anointed kingdom of Romagna. I need 500 gold for that. Does Italy get special? Well, they're, um, I don't. Good question. How do I, oh, innovations. Doesn't look like they have a special unit. It would show up here, right?
Because we're actually French. Our culture is French. We're not, we don't have a distinct Italian culture. But we can diverge our culture and create an Italian culture later on, but it'll cost 500 prestige and probably based on what we choose. Uh, also, um, the culture has to be more than 100 years old in the soldier tab. There's, I mean, there's nothing. These are all, these are all regular, uh, men at arms regiments. I don't see a special one here. Is that what you're talking about? Hammer bearers. <laughs> the hammer bearer bowman. <laughs> I like this mercenary company name. We bear hammers, but we mainly use bows. <laughs> company of the hat. <laughs> you don't, sadly, yeah. Make it Italian now? Oh, I can't. I can't even choose to diverge the culture because I need... The culture has to be less than 100 years old. Even if I have the uh, prestige, which I don't. Okay. I'm unpausing. Raise the armies! Oh, decision available. Create cadet branch. It may be time for my family to abandon the legacy of the of the House Carling and carve its own path in history, with me as the head of this new branch of our great dynasty. I don't have 350 prestige, though. Oh, you gain 350 prestige. So why would I not do this? We create a cadet branch of your current house. Dynasties always have a founding house, but in order to become house heads themselves, landed members can choose to create their own new house. Oh, members of such offshoot houses are free to do the same, eventually leading to a tree of houses within the larger dynasty. Oh, yeah. House Carling Pavia. Can I change the name? <laughs> so we created our own house. Now we're the leader of our own shit. Okay. Now we can choose our own legacies and stuff. What should we call our new house? How about just Carl? House Carl. Motto. This is so cool. Design your own coat of arms. We get to come up with a motto too. I need a motto chat. Start from scratch. Yes. Okay. Pattern. Layout. I need a real motto. Come on, Blecko. In butts we thrust? No. Come on. You can do better than that. Where's the hearts? Something in Latin, maybe. Yeah, Blecko, you're Italian. Do, drop some Italian shit. I kind of like the wavy lines. I like the pyramid. I dig that, too.
White's fine. That's the closest we're going to get to pink, I guess. He passed out or die. Cordibus nostris in gur in Our hearts engulf. Oh, I like that. Do I do I make it capital? Our hearts engulf. Oh, emblems. Wait, I can't change emblems? Oh, there we go. I wonder if there's a heart. Abstract. Animals, circles, spirals, crosses, and dots. This is wild. I had no idea you could do this. We need something that's heart, that looks like a heart. Maybe let's not go swastika. I know it was something before the Nazis, but maybe we'll skip on the swastika. Let me know if you guys see a heart. <laughs> Faiths. That's neat. Ooh. That's pretty badass. You guys are okay with skipping that? Man made. So these are just like stuff that people make. I don't think there's going to be a heart. Oh, there we go. Nice. Uh, how do I get rid of this? Emblems. Wait, what? Oh, I see. We're choosing the different emblems. Gotcha. That looks off, though. Why is that so off? Layout. Yeah, nice and big. <laughs> no, we got it. Cordibus nostris... In Gurgatat, which means, uh, what was it again? Our hearts engulf. Kidest amor amantis ne nevulnus. What does that mean? Is that what is love? What is love? <laughs> you can make the arms solid colors and adjust the symbols. Okay. Baby, don't hurt me. Never gonna give me. <laughs> I kind of like, um, I don't know about yellow. How about those colors? Uh, and then layout. 
How do you, um... How do you adjust the sizes of the symbols? And also, how do... What is this other pattern? How do I change this part? Or is it because I'm an offshoot of Carl I have to have that? This is, this is, uh, this is confusing me. Maybe I'll just go single color. I like blue. Strong color. Or red. How do I change the... Yeah, because we're a cadet house. How do I change the color? Oh, there we go. Also, why is there three crowns here? <laughs> oh, there's three crowns behind it. Fuck's sakes. That's kind of cool, too. I like simple, though. Uh, blues, France, red, and green and white. Yeah. But we're doing our own thing, you know? Pen and quill. Oh, detail edit. Oh, shit! Wow. Okay. Now we're talking. Position. Oh, yeah. No, now it's not position. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. It could stay there. Because it's all fucked up on the other ones if it's if it's not there. So I think this is good. Oh, and also I should probably change it back to the heart. Honestly, I kind of just like, I kind of like this. Hey, wisely chosen. It kind of, it kind of like establishes our own thing. Well, uh, staying true to the, the look of the, of the previous one. The only other one I might consider is like this emblem. Which has the fleur de lis in it, kind of. What do you guys think? Left or right? Second one. Okay. Carl is born. The house of Carl. Finish customizing your house. Once you submit, you cannot undo this change. Let's do it. There we are. Beautiful. Alliance formed with Prince Carlman of East Francia. My dear cousin, the game begins two hours into the game. We hit the unpause button. <laughs> I guess I could change it any time, right? 
Yes, the new DLC. I gladly accept your betrothal proposition. Your daughter and heir, Emringard, will be betrothed to my son and heir, Arnulf. Excellent. Let's call. Oh, yeah, I have to spend 150 to call my ally, right? You don't need to do that right now. Let us march upon. Sardinid. The war begins. You can change your kingdom arms also. Ah, I'm cool with leaving it the way it is. That's kind of like a historical thing. Whereas we're creating our own history with uh, House Carl. You're saying maybe a black background? I don't know. I think it I think it sticks out. Oh, I can designate a guardian for Giselle Carl. Who is this? Oh, our daughter. Right. Can I um not have her <laughs> join it? Not become a monk? Can I request excommunication? <laughs> That would probably stop her from being a monk. <laughs> Arnulf. Arnulf. <laughs> I forgot about one thing. Sorry, guys. Sorry, 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 sorry. sorry. We, can't, we have to change the look of our rule. I can't? I can't change the look of King Louis? There's no barber shop. Oh, there we go. Uh, I don't actually, you know what? I'm not going to change the look of him because this, he's a historical dude. That that guy actually existed. We'll change the look of our, uh, of our daughter when she takes control or our son. Alliance formed with Baron Arnulf. Beautiful. He'll be dead soon. What are you talking about? He's, uh, he's 32. He's in the prime of his life. Oh, he needs king threads. Okay, yeah, okay, 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 okay. King threads, king threads. I, I, I removed the, um, that DLC I was using, or sorry, the, uh, the mod I was using. Should we give him Jester's attire? I'm pretty sure that's from the, the Royal Court DLC. Nightgown. Prison rags. He's not really armor guy. He's more nobility. That looks pretty good. There we go. Jester? The county of Medena has given rise to the peasant rabble targeting you. Greetings, my serene liege. I have arrived in Turin to pay homage to you, glorious king, as a show of my loyalty. I hope my pledge of submission alone is evidence enough of my honor. Who are you? Our vassal. His scraping means nothing to me. Uh, show Count Boson in at once. In our royal court. Oh! This is new! I wait patiently on my throne for the arrival of Count Boson, who is soon announced and ushered before me. He kneels in deference, offering nothing but his oath to faithfully serve as a vassal of, uh, of the kingdom. At last I bid the Count arise, confirming my satisfaction and Boson's rights to the lands he rules in my stead. Serve me well, Count Boson. 
Oh, we get we gain 25 renown and 75 uh prestige. 